ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳೇ ಇಲ್ಲಿಯವರೆಗೂ ನಾವು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳನ್ನು ಚರ್ಚಿಸಿದೆವು ಈಗ ಮುಂದಿನ ಪಠ್ಯವಾದ ಮಿನರಲ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಷನ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಚರ್ಚಿಸೋಣ ಈ ಚಾಪ್ಟರಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕೆಲವು ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಹೀಗಿದೆ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಮಿನರಲ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯಂಟ್ಸ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ದ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯಂಟ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ರಿಸರ್ವಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯಂಟ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಿನರಲ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯಂಟ್ಸ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಮೆಟಾಬಾಲಿಸಮ್ ಇಷ್ಟು ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಅತಿ ಪ್ರಾಮುಖ್ಯವಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕೆಲವು ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ಗಳೆಂದರೆ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಮಿನರಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಿನರಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಮೆಟಾಬಾಲಿಸಮ್ ದ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯಂಟ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಪಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಪಾನಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಆರ್ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ಲೆಸ್ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಥ್ರೂ ದೀಸ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಪಾನಿಕ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಮೈನ್ ದ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದೀಸ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಪಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಏರೋಪಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕವರ್ಡ್ ದ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಒನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಪಿರಿಯಾಡಿಕ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ನೋ ದ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ರೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯಂಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಮೆಟಾಬಾಲಿಸಮ್ ಸೊ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅಬಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅಟ್ಮಾಸ್ಫಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅಪ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಆಸಚ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಅಮೋನಿಯಂ ನೈಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಆರ್ ನೈಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಸೊ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರಮ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಆರ್ ನೈಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಮೆಟಾಬಲೈಸ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ವೇ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಮೆಟಾಬಾಲಿಸಮ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ವಿಲ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇನ್ ಮಿನರಲ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಷನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ the element is necessary for supporting normal growth and reproduction of plants the deficiency of that particular element cannot be met by supplying some other element the element is directly involved in the metabolism of the plants so among these three options choose the correct option see as we discussed there are 20 essential elements required for the growth and development of the plants so, so all these essential elements are necessary for supporting the normal growth and development second one they are not replaceable by some other elements whatever the functions performed by the specific element is not replaced by some other element hence cannot be replaceable they are directly involved in metabolism of the plant hence all the three options are correct so hence the correct option is d that is 1 2 and 3 dear students we will move on to the next question related to the role of essential elements the question is match the following columns column 1 and column 2 in column 1 the various roles of element has been given in column 2 that particular essential element has been given we have to choose the correct options so column 1 the first one a is found in some amino acids so in the column 2 among these four so which of these essential
cysteine and methionine. Hence, found in some amino acids, A, the option that matches A is yes, that is third one. So, among these, B and D, the third option is there. So, hence, so we can eliminate the options A and C. So, among the options B and D, one is correct. So, when we look into the next options from the column 1 and column 2, so we can ascertain which one is the correct option among B and D. Required for photolysis of water, for the photolysis of water, two essential elements are required. One is manganese and the other one is chlorine. Here in the option, manganese is given which is required for the photolysis of water. Hence, for B, the fourth one manganese which is required for photolysis of water. Hence, B fourth one. So, B fourth one. So, again in both the options, fourth is there. So, again we have to look into the next option. C, not important for plants. Among the four elements, magnesium, iodine, sulfur and manganese. So, iodine is not essential for plants whereas, it is essential for animals for the proper functioning of thyroid gland. Hence, not important for plants is the second option iodine. So, iodine is not essential hence, so not important for plants second option C second option. So, in the answer C second one, hence B option will not holds good, hence the D option is the correct one. See last one, structural component of chlorophyll. Here magnesium is the structural component of the chlorophyll, hence D matches with the first option. So, here the first option in the D is given, hence when we look into all the essential elements and their role, so the D option is the correct option. We will move on to the next question related to nitrogen metabolism. The question is the process of conversion of nitrogen into ammonia is termed as. So, options kalunna nodona. First one is ammonification, second one is nitrification, third one is denitrification and fourth one is nitrogen fixation. So, all these four reactions are very essential in nitrogen metabolism. See first option ammonification. So, it is a process of conversion of the biomass or organic substances of the dead plant and animal is known as ammonification. So, this ammonification involves the number of ammonifying bacteria like Clostridium. Second option nitrification, it is the process of conversion of ammonia into nitrate and nitrate which occurs in two steps. So, now atmospheric nitrogen is first converted to ammonia. So, ammonia is converted to nitrites and nitrates. The process is called as nitrification. So, nitrates and nitrates are utilized by the plants and when these plants and animals die, the dead organic matter of these nitrogen containing substances is converted to ammonia. The process is ammonification. So, finally, the nitrates or ammonia is converted to atmospheric nitrogen by the process of denitrification. So, the question is the process of conversion of nitrogen into ammonia is termed as the process of conversion of this atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia is known as nitrogen fixation. Hence, the correct option is nitrogen 
fixation. on to the next question related to the nitrogen fixation which occurs by two processes symbiotic nitrogen fixation and asymbiotic nitrogen fixation. So, even though we shake a this the question is the function of leg hemoglobin in the root nodules of legume is the root nodule formation occurs when the nitrogen fixation occurs symbiotically. So, this symbiotic nitrogen fixation occurs in legumes as well as non legumes. In leguminous plants, the symbiotic association takes place with the help of the soil bacterium rhizobium. This is a free living soil bacterium which makes an association with the roots of leguminous plants. So, in these roots of leguminous plants this rhizobium enters and results in the formation of root nodule. So, this root nodule that is formed in these legumes. So, inside which the nitrogenase enzyme of these rhizobium bacterium will convert the atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia. So, I have discussed in the previous question the conversion of atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia is nitrogen fixation. So, not only the nitrogen fixation occurs symbiotically, it also occurs with the help of free living soil bacterium and cyanobacteria like Nostra candanabina. And in non leguminous plants also the root nodule formation takes place with the help of the bacterium Frankia which makes the root nodules in non leguminous plant called ulnus. So, here the leg hemoglobin in the root nodules of legume is so, this leg hemoglobin is produced in the root nodules or the cells of the root nodule as this nitrogenase enzyme is sensitive to oxygen or functions only in anaerobic condition to reduce or to eliminate these aerobic condition in the vicinity of these uh, root system. The leg hemoglobin produced from the cells of these root nodules play a vital role in maintaining anaerobic condition. Hence, it removes oxygen and acts as a oxygen scavenger. Hence, the right option for this question is oxygen removal. <laughs> 